In a previous video, I spoke about how to calculate R1 plus R2 by using the values in table I1 in the on-site guide, which gives values for milliohms per meter for different combinations of cables. So if you look at table I1, which is on uh, page 218 in the on-site guide, um, you can see that there are various different impedances. Uh, so you've got uh, for a 2.5 line conductor, it will be 7.41 milliohms per meter. And then for a 2.5 plus a 1.5, it will say 19.51 milliohms per meter. And we can use the equation that I spoke about in my previous video to work out exactly what the R1 plus R2 would be. But I got a really good question um, on my channel recently from a viewer asking, what do I do if I want to do this same calculation when using an SWA cable and I plan on using the armor as the CPC, which is a really good question. And the simple answer to that is we would need to get the information from the manufacturer. Now, what I used to do back in the day is uh, when the last time I did this was a few years ago um, I was able to get the data sheet from the um, manufacturer's website and find all the information that I need but I had a quick look on the internet just uh, recently at three or four different manufacturers websites and I noticed that the data for the armor of the cable isn't there um, on the data sheets that you can get from the website. Now I'm guessing that it may be necessary to get it directly from the manufacturer so you need to contact them and ask them for that. I'm not sure why they don't publish that on their websites anymore. I'm not sure if there's a particular reason for it. It may be because not so many people use um, SWA um, as CPC anymore. Um, I did a poll on my channel recently asking how many of you preferred to use the um, SWA as a CPC or preferred to use a separate core of the cable as a CPC and overwhelmingly the majority of people preferred to use um, one of the cores of the cable as a CPC which is not surprising really it's much easier to use a three core cable and you identify one of those cores as a cpc but it is still possible to use the armor of an swa cable as a cpc in some situations there are some sizes of cables that it doesn't work um, but it's it is definitely possible to do it for some sizes of cables so it's really handy to see the um, uh, IT's guidance note one there's a table at the back of the book which shows which sizes of arm you can use but it's also really handy to be able to get the data from the manufacturer to see exactly what the CSA of the arm or the sheath is for each different type of cable. Um, and it used to be possible to get this directly from the website. I'm guessing, again, it's probably available, but if you contact the manufacturer directly. So that's what I recommend anybody doing. If you want to use the armor of a cable as the CPC, have a chat with the manufacturer of the cable and ask if you can get that data. What you really want is you want to know the CSA of the armor, so you can do the adiabatic equation. And to, to calculate R1, R2, you need to know the value for milliohms per meter for both the line conductor and the uh, SWA, SWA. Now, they sometimes refer to this as ohms per kilometer on the manufacturer's data, which is basically the same thing. So if you get that figure from the manufacturer's data, it is possible to do the calculation that I showed in my previous video. If you let me know in the comments below, if you'd like to see me doing an example calculation of that, I'd be happy to do that for you guys, which is really handy to be able to do, and especially if you wanna do, um, do a full design for an installation. And if you want to know how long your cable can be without exceeding the disconnection time, 